just down the road from my home is the village of Lalliston. The village takes its name from the Norman Lagerless family who settled in the area. There's quite a few buildings of note in the village. First of all, Cliff Cottage. Cliff Cottage is a Grade 2 listed building. The main house is probably 18th century, with a 19th century cottage added to the right. The original use was as a vicarage. It was donated for the community use by Sarah Ann Blandy in 1910 and continues to this day. The building was restored in 1975 to 1982. Next we come to St David's Church. It's a listed Grade 1 building as a medieval church with its fabric including timber roof mainly intact and a medieval church and cross mostly intact. Now we walk down Wind Street to the 14th century Lalliston Inn. With all its charm remaining. It's also where I had my wedding reception. And now we walk back up Wind Street to the historic Lalliston Cottages. The cottage was a grand thatched roof building. This picture was taken in 1992. Unfortunately, in the early hours of March 2000, this building was destroyed by fire which started the roof. The following picture captures the devastating event. The building has now been modernised. Now we walk down past the church towards the high street, passing some old cottages. On the high street is the Great House. The 16th century Great House has been converted into a high class restaurant in recent years. But this building is of particular importance. It is believed to have been a gift from Queen Elizabeth I to a suitor and court favourite Robert Dudley, the Earl of Leicester, around 1564. He used the Great House as a hunting lodge. There was a escape route behind the fireplace which opened up to a stone lined tunnel that led to the church. But in the 1940s, a bus travelling down the high street pitched nose first into the tunnel as it collapsed under the weight. A crane had to be brought in to winch it out. The property is also said to have been home to Anne Boleyn, the second wife of King Henry VIII. Next to the Great House is the Mackworth Arms, another old pub. An ancient well behind the Great House dates way back in time, as the only water supply in the village, and still being relied on by many as late as the 1960s.
The former Oyster Catcher Inn is a Grade 2 listed building of the 16th century. The building has recently been converted to cottages, but the external features still remain. Next we come to the village farmhouse. It was originally an early 17th century house with an attached barn. Following a period of disrepair, house and barn were converted into a single dwelling in the 1970s. Unfortunately, there has been a building fire and current renovation work is continuing. Finally, we come to the Hurib Welsh Presbyterian Church. It was built in 1831. The church school was added to about 1852. Along with the house, neither are in use today. Well, thank you for watching. It would be much appreciated if you subscribe to my channel. Also, a link to my website in the description below. Bye!